Hello viewers, welcome to ABTN News. If you are new to this platform, please hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Before we proceed, kindly hit the like button and if possible, share to as many people as possible. Today, we want to talk about Advocate Nelson Chamisa. He has been trapped and they are trying by all means to make sure that they find uh, basis to make him not to contest in the 2023 election. So given the situation, given the temperatures in the political uh, fraternity in the nation of Zimbabwe, there is no hope for President Emerson Mnangagwa to win the next elections in 2023. And even if they bring another candidate from ZANU-PF, they are not going to win these elections because people are tired, people are agitated, and people really want change. And above all, people really love a belief and trust advocate Nelson Chamisa. That is in regard to the politics of Zimbabwe and the resuscitation of the economy of Zimbabwe. And this is how they want to trap advocate Nelson Chamisa. They created an illusion that advocate Nelson Chamisa support Ian Smith. They created a myth to say advocate Nelson Chamisa is against the liberation struggle and they are using uh, different people to tweet about or to tweet against the liberation struggles, values and ethos. And here is how they are going to trap him. They just want prominent CCC members to confirm that Ian Smith was indeed better than um, uh, the current government and uh, than the, the, president, the, the government of President Robert Munga. And then they will come and say, if Ian Smith was better, it means those who fought for the liberation struggle fought for nothing. It means you are against the liberation struggle values because these are the comrades you are saying they are of no value, they are of no importance. So, if you go to the preamble of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, it says exalting and extolling the brave men and women who sacrificed their lives during the Chimurenga, Umvukela, and national liberation struggles, honoring our forebear and compatriots who toiled for the progress of our country. So, if we go on to the founding principles of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, the founding principles of the nation of Zimbabwe, they say uh, the Zimbabwe is founded on respect of the following values and principles. Supremacy of the Constitution, the rule of law, fundamental human rights and freedoms, the nation's diverse cultural, religious and traditional values, recognition of the inherent dignity and worth of each human being, recognition of the equality of all human beings, gender equality, good governance, and recognition and the respect of the liberation and struggle. And that is the clause they want to use to disqualify President Nelson Chamisa in 2023. So the elders say, if you are warned, you have to cautiously tread. You have to watch your back. So I have warned the leadership, I have warned the CCC members to say, no matter how you feel about this government, no matter how you feel about the comparison of uh, the Smith regime and this current regime, you need to tread cautiously. Why? You can go to the elections without President Nelson Chamisa if you continue this way because he is going to be disqualified and they will take the matter to the courts and with the captured uh, institutions we have in the nation of Zimbabwe, it is more likely that you will be disqualified and nothing will happen. If we have seen a lot of people disappearing, being killed, uh, being maimed, being uh, all sorts of things happening and nothing is happening, what will stop the regime to disqualify Advocate Nelson Chamisa on the basis of failure to respect and recognize the liberation struggle? So, for those who want change, 
or those who are genuinely in pursuit of, of church. You need to leave out the Twitter champions uh, alone. You need to make sure that you focus on recruitment, you focus on voter mobilization, you focus on voter registration. Those are the issues which are very important. You focus on key issues of making sure that you win the election. And I want to applaud Honorable Wendy for coming out and defend the liberation struggle ethos and values. That is how our leaders should conduct. That is how our leaders should behave. We are clear about the liberation struggle. We are not against the liberation struggle. We are not in favor of the Smith regime. We are in favor of a good Zimbabwe. We are in favor of change. And that change, we believe that Advocate Nelson Chamisa is going to bring it. So it is in your court to continue following the Twitter champions or you will follow the constitution and respect that constitution and make sure that you are not trapped by Zanopia. So it is my pleasure being with you. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment and share.